We made it here to Lake Padden, a little Hotel California on the radio on the drive up here. What do you guys think? What do you guys think makes that such a great song? You think it's the music? You think it's the lyrics? You think it's a combination of both? You think it's the sound, the 70s sound? I don't know. It's pretty uh, interesting thought, you know. I think it has to be the, the lyrics. Um, but that guitar solo is pretty epic, so I must say that was part of it as well. But uh, without those lyrics, I think the music, I don't know, it would probably stand on its own. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Put it in the comments. What makes it such a great song? Or maybe you think it's not a great song. I don't know. Put that in as well. I'm going to hit this trail, get that 2.6 miles in. Maybe a little Hotel California running through my mind when we come back. Hopefully I'll have something to be grateful for. I'll try to think of something while I'm out there on the trail. And uh, we'll report back soon. All right, we made it another successful 2.6 miles around Lake Patton. Today was an interesting one. That first mile, I felt spry. I felt good. I was on the tip of my toes running up that trail. Second mile, not too bad. Still pretty steady. That third mile, that's where it kicked in. That bear jumped on my back a little. Had to carry him home. Made it through to the finish line, came here thinking about what I was grateful for. Of course, as I was running that uh, song, Hotel California was running through my mind. was thinking about that and, uh, you know, whether or not you like the Eagles, whether you like Hotel California, and it's hard to believe there might be somebody out there who actually doesn't like Hotel California. Who comes to mind? The Big Lebowski, right? The Big Lebowski, he liked Credence. He had Credence 8 tracks. He hated the Eagles, right? So he probably didn't like uh, Hotel California. And he has that choice. We all have that choice, whether we want to like something or dislike it. And, uh, you know, he's a fictional character, of course, but uh, he's still an iconic fictional character. You know, he doesn't like the Eagles. Uh, he chose to say that. He voiced his opinion and uh, still is an icon. People love the Big Lebowski. Uh, they have marathons where they watch The Big Lebowski every year and celebrate the movie, celebrate his character. And so we have that choice in this country, right? We can like or dislike whatever we want. So I guess I'm thankful for that uh, choice, grateful to have that choice. Uh, you know, we elect uh, public figures, uh, elections, and uh, you're either Trump or you're Biden or you're uh, Jennifer Aniston or you're Angelina Jolie. You're uh, either Jiffy or you're Skip Peanut Butter. Or maybe you like that natural peanut butter. You don't mess with the artificial. You know, you have the choice in life. You can choose to like what you like and dislike what you don't. And people will judge you based on what you say. And uh, that's a beautiful thing is to have that choice. So I guess I'm grateful for that choice. And uh, also grateful you can change your mind, right? You can uh, dislike Trump one, one cycle, one election year. And decide, hey, Biden's not cutting it. We're going to vote Trump this year. You can ch choose to do that or vice versa. You know, we have that, um, that ability in this lifetime, you know. I could work 20 years for eBay and decide, hey, I'm not working eBay anymore. I'm going to get a 9 to 5, get some regular hours, regular pay. You know, I could do it. That's a choice. Yeah, we can choose things and we have that ability in this country, right? We can drink bottled water or we can drink out of the tap. I mean, there's a million different things you could bring up. You know, there's all those choices we make in life and those decisions that lead us on our way. And uh, we can change our mind about things, and that's a grateful thing. Uh, we should all be grateful that we have that ability to do that in this country. To change our mind, you know, to become something else, to, uh, to change our mind and do something else. And uh, chase a different dream. And uh, to keep dreaming and uh, maybe decide that one isn't for you. And uh, you're going to go down a different path. We can even uh, disregard that path, you know, chase a dream for a year, then give up on it and uh, ghost everybody, you know, turn off socials and don't talk to anybody for the, a year and then decide, hey, what's going on? Shoot them a message and decide we're back on that path. We're chasing that dream again. We can do that. And uh, I guess we're grateful for those opportunities in life. We have so much to be grateful for in this country. And, uh, you know, not all countries have that. You know, there's a lot of 
a luxury that we're born into these days and we take it for granted so I guess we should be grateful for that you know we turn on that tap and the water just flows and we can actually drink it and not get sick well most of the time you know some people advise against it but uh, you know other countries don't have that luxury and I'm grateful for this little YouTube journey I'm on you know started it over a year ago now I have over 331 followers I never thought there would be this many followers uh, chasing my uh, dream with me, you know, trying to get this channel monetized while watching these silly videos, you know, taking one step closer to monetization as I uh, put these out daily, day in the life of a reseller. I never thought anybody would really care what I'm up to, you know, I've been doing it 20 years and nobody really gave a damn, but uh, now I get in front of the camera and I got 331 people watching me, so uh, I'm chasing that 1,000 subscriber mark and I'm, I'm well on my way. And uh, people are starting to watch, you know, the, the view time's going up, I'm getting comments, I'm getting likes, and uh, people are starting to enjoy the content, you know. Checking in to see what, um, what I'm up to, and you know, you guys all have that choice. Do we want to hit that subscription button, or do we want to lurk in the darkness and uh, just watch him a little every now and then, you know. Click on all Brian and see what he's up to these days, but we don't want to subscribe. You know, that's your choice, and I guess you have that choice, you know. Sometimes I think about this whole YouTube thing and, you know, there's a lot of uh, self-help. Everybody's giving advice, you know, positivity is up on Instagram and Facebook every day and you're, you're getting you, you know, fed that, uh, you know, never give up, you're important, you matter, that whole spiel. And, you know, sometimes I kind of enjoy those uh, little posts, but uh, and sometimes I think of myself, maybe I am that guy, you know, but sometimes I kind of despise that guy. I think it's corny and I think it's uh, lame to kind of put that out there all the time. You know, who needs to be hearing that every day to get up and do their job, you know, you don't need that uh, self-help, but uh, I guess it helps, you know, to be grateful about uh, things and to, uh, you know, strive to be more positive in life. You know, there's a lot of people that are uh, the opposite and you see them and you see how they go through life and you you think you wonder why they're that way you know why can't they be a little bit more positive put a little smile on their face and maybe when they approach something or a situation do it in a manner that would make the person feel respected you know and uh, you gotta choose your words careful you know um, sometimes you see those people and you realize they're that way and you just accept them how they are but uh, you know, sometimes maybe you should sit down with those people and, uh, you know, respectfully say, hey, you could change the way you speak to me. You know, you might get uh, a little bit further in life if you uh, choose to uh, voice your opinion in a certain manner. There's the old saying that you should, you know, um, respect the boss and the janitor in the same way or something to that effect, you know. Um, don't judge those. Um, you know, give every person the respect that uh, you would um, want yourself, you know. There's that whole adage, and uh, I kind of stand by that. I believe in that, I guess. You know, you got to give people respect. Um, respect that they earn, you know. If they don't earn it, you don't have to bother. But, um, you know, I think everybody's entitled to that. You shouldn't judge them right away. Let them um, prove themselves to you. So all that being said, you know, I respect your decisions, I respect who you are, and uh, I'm grateful for you guys following me and uh, watching these videos and uh, looking in on me, checking out what I'm up to, and I guess if you don't like Hotel California, that's okay. I'll get over it, but... Uh... So all that being said, that's enough gratitude for one night. I think I'm going to head down and give you guys a look at the lake, walk around, do a little warm down. Check things out here at Padden. We haven't been here for a few days. Um, we've been busy with that, uh, with the eBay and with that Milltown Marathon. Was busy, busy with that all weekend. Have a nice video up with some of the festivities over there. You can check that one out. It was a great, great event. Uh, Snowbush Running Company has put on some great ones the last couple and had some awesome weather out there. Um, they've got another one coming up June, I think June 6th, I want to say. You can check out their website, snowmushrunning.com, to sign up for that one. I think it's the Evergreen, um, Evergreen Run, I think is what it's called. Um, but you can go on their website and check out all their runs. Uh, grateful for Grant for having me out there to do those photos again. Uh, Grant and the Snowmush Running Company team, they put on some awesome events, and it's always great to be part of it. So uh, let's head on down to the lake and see what we can see today. There they are. You see them, all those ducks on the shoreline there. I was sneaking over here to see if they would notice me. They did, of course. They're quite observant. I'm always surprised. 
So I guess that's a little bit of that survival instinct, right? Ducks have that in them. If they're not observant, they will become lunch for somebody else. Speaking of that, sounds like someone's getting chased over there. But look at this cloud cover today. Beautiful cloud cover out here. Let's get a look at some of that up in the sky now that we've seen it in the water. Look at that cloud cover. Always fun to check out these clouds here. Definitely nice spring weather today. So you gotta look from this side of the lake. Let's take a look at uh, the other side. It's like somebody tossed this little log down here or floated on in. I don't think I've ever seen that one here. I usually hang out on this shoreline a little bit. All these happy little clouds just reflecting in the water there. Shimmering and shining. All the way down. The trees reflecting as well. Alright, here's a look at that other side of the lake. I'll try not to go too fast so you guys don't get dizzy. I tend to go a little fast sometimes, but uh, there it is. The sun is just setting. Just uh, went down behind the trees over there. So you guys are getting the last view here at Lake Padden. The last of the trees and the clouds. The sun just dipping down behind them over there. So we do have a few geese over here. I think I'm going to walk up on them, see if we can say hello and see what they do. So this guy is slowly walking towards his buddy over there. So we walked up on him. He kind of slowed and looked at me. Now he's waking, is making his way across that trail. His buddy's having a snack across the way there. So uh, apparently that's where the good eating is over there. And he's going to go over there and join them. Unless they're a couple, I don't know how that works. Maybe they're a couple and they just uh, mate for life like some birds, right? Maybe they're the duo. They seem uh, like they get along pretty good. I don't know, what do you guys think? They're not really flying away, but the geese tend to be a little bit more brave. The ducks will fly away. These guys uh, stand their ground. I'm still probably about uh, six feet away, so... Oh, they're going back across the trail. Heading away. So you're getting a little look at some nature here. Let's see what we do if we move a little closer now that we got them in our... Behind them. Sneak up behind them, see what they do. Well, they're pretty content to just walk with me. Or vice versa. But uh, I'll let them go on, I guess. We don't want to scare them too much. Let them be on their way. I guess we can give you guys one more look. They kind of turn around to face me, so uh, we're not looking at their tail feather there. But uh, there they are, a couple geese here at Lake Padden. Hope you guys enjoy this little look at uh, the wildlife here. So you can hear those birds. Those birds are singing to us up in the trees. These guys are far less vocal. Um, but there are some birds up in this tree here. This is the tree. This is the culprit. Somebody's up there making all kinds of racket. You guys see him? You spot him? So I think I'm going to head over to the water runoff place, do a little warm down, get a nice little warm down in, and then I'll check back. Alright, here's a look from the other side where that sun was just setting. Here's a look at the clouds in the water there. It was a nice couple just taking a prayer, having a prayer. Right over this view, it was kind of a beautiful thing. Thought about taking a video, but I let them have their privacy. It'd be kind of weird, but uh, kind of a nice moment. Had his hands up, uh, giving a little prayer. Seems like a good place to pray, right? So here's a look at it. We have the dock over there to the right. We're going to go look at that water runoff, get a little bit of that peaceful water runoff. So here's that dock. You can hear that water running off to the right. We'll give you guys a look at that in a second, but uh, look at this peaceful dock. Nobody's out there. Someone was just out there. They walked off. So I thought I would get a shot of it. So from this side over here, that's the dog park side down that way. And uh, you can hear that water rushing. Let's take a look at it. It's right over here under this uh, concrete block over there. 
Here it is. I haven't given you guys a look from this side very often. Last two few times I've skipped this look, but uh, there it is. Rushing down the log is in the middle there. Kind of jamming things up. Here's a look at it from a different angle. Kind of mossy. And there it goes. And down the stream. Not much of a flow, not as much as there has been. Usually it's pouring right out of there. Today it is a little less. Less and less as spring comes. There used to be some flowing out of that opening over there. Today there's none. Maybe just a little dribble. The things are drying out here at Lake Cadden a little bit. I guess it's to be expected. Looks like someone had a spill here. The Roadrunner would come along and eat that up probably, no problem. Here's a look at it. Smoothly flowing. Not as powerful as usual. There's usually a lot more action about here. It's actually quiet today. It's still got a little foam build up there. There's always a little foam at this area. Things get uh, blocked up right through here. Somebody's gonna go, have to come and clean this out one of these days. Like we got a little litter, something fell down there. A tennis ball, you see that tennis ball? And a little plastic something or other. Toy maybe, I don't know. Can't see what that is, but uh, I'm not going down there. It's too dangerous. This is always kind of a cool area where that water gets through. Gets through all those logs and that brush. And right on down the stream, Looks like there is a couple more trees down over here. There's that one right there. I think this guy was here last time, this big one here. But this one uh, fell off right there, the edge. You see that, how it split right there? I think that's a new addition. Came down right into the drink. So a couple new ones in the stream here. This is that rock the ducks like to hang out on. Corrected, I think that was the duck that, uh, the rock that the ducks like. Is that one right there, that big one right in the middle of it all. They like to get up on that and kind of feel, uh, feel like the king of the stream. I'd imagine, I don't know. They like that one. Here it is, yet another tree that went down and is approaching its way to the stream. Didn't quite make it all the way, but it's close, it's hovering. I guess it's got a few branches in there. It's dipped in there a little bit. Getting a taste of that drink. But uh, they all go down here. I think this is the area I showed you last time where these two came down. And then there's this one that's been in the creek for some time right there. That one's been rotting away. Slowly disintegrating. So if I was smart, I'd come here take a shot of this log every day. And do a time lapse. That would be kind of cool to see the thing disappear here. Because it's already much smaller than it was the last time I was here. Water is just uh, working it down to nothing. This is the spot where you get some good audio. Do you guys hear that? You got the little babbling of the brook there, and then there's this little rock right there in the middle. It hits that thing and you get some extra noise. Bunch of rocks. So we almost have another log jam here. Look at this. These are almost uh, backing up this area, just like up further up in the creek. They have a little spot there where they can get through, but they have logs on both sides now. About four or five here, four or five over there. And then these big ones have come down. A trio right there, right in the middle of it all. Here's my favorite calf stretching uh, platform. Perfect size here to stretch the old calves. You put the put the shoe right up here and you get a nice stretch. Oh yeah, that's the spot right there. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this little look at the Lake Padden uh, Creek and everything else here at Lake Padden. A little view of nature after a few moments of gratitude. I like to do these in, as part of my um, day in the life of a reseller vlog. If you're not part of the vlog, feel free to join. You know, hit that subscription button join the journey we're trying to get to 1000 subscribers and 4000 hours i'm uh, well on my way but i still got a long ways to go so 
I want to thank everybody for watching this one and uh, hopefully you'll uh, hit subscribe and uh, check out the next one. Uh, like I say, they come out every morning. Um, I try to post them up every morning. I also do some other content as well up on the channel. So uh, you can uh, join and check out everything I do. So uh, hopefully you'll continue watching this one. If not, um, this will be the end of the gratitude section. Uh, the reselling continues once I get home. We've got to list some more hats and uh, get some more work done. That's how it is in the day in the life of a reseller. It's not a 9 to 5. you got to work... Uh, past that five o'clock deadline, um, sometimes till nine, ten. So that's usually when I call it quits, but uh, it's a good um, metric for what it takes to make some money online. It's not easy. You gotta work some long hours and uh, put in some extra effort. Um, there's no overtime. It's just one base pay. You get what you get. And uh, how hard you work is how much you make. That's kind of the way it works. The day in the life of a reseller.